Why are consoles cheaper compared to PCs or laptops? Well, if you ever wondered that, that you have come to the right place. This is Ray, and let's get into it. So we all know that there are actually laptops and PCs that are cheaper than consoles, but when it comes to the gaming performance the console provides, they are not even close. And before we go more into the video when I mention PCs, I am talking about pre-build PCs. If you build a PC by yourself then you might get something with better performance. But when you buy the console you get it built so we will hold the PC to the same standard. So what are the reasons why the PC is more expensive and there are a lot of factors here. And the best thing about the PC here is actually the thing that makes the PC a lot more expensive. We know that the PC is customizable and there are a lot of parts you can choose when building your setup. You can get a PC that satisfies your needs. You don't need to spend more than what you need but you cannot spend less than what you need. Now let's move on to why that is bad since there are a lot of parts they don't sell at that high numbers, so they will be generally more expensive, that is one. The other reason is that since there are a lot of parts that have to come together when building a PC, that means that there are a lot of companies that want to make profit from those parts and all the companies make different parts, and okay there might be a company that makes two or three different kind of parts for PC that you might need, but you can choose and pick different parts from different companies that's mainly what I want to say. But let's not forget that every company has to have its own profit even the software costs money. If you want to buy a window key that will cost you money. And if you want a cheap PC that might cost you a lot of money. But that's beside the point. I mean that's the point but that's why the PC is expensive. Now let's see why the console is cheaper. And if for example Sony makes the console you don't actually make any kit of choice there. When it comes to choosing the hardware. But that cuts cost a lot. And don't get me wrong. Sony makes deals with the same people that own the companies that make the PC parts, so they can get those parts, but they buy those parts for a product that they choose, they get the best deals because they are trying to cut cost as much as they can, plus since they buy in huge numbers they get really good deal on those parts, but still they somehow don't make a profit when they sell, at least not at the start when they start selling, how does that make sense, well let me explain, one of the main reasons why Sony is that cheap is this, so it's true that Sony and Microsoft lose money when they sell consoles, at least they do at the start because as time goes on, parts tend to go down in price and they recover some profit when building consoles in the future because the same parts are cheaper to buy, but the bulk of the sales is at the start and they don't actually care about that and there is a really good reason for that, they make money when someone buys the game, yes yeah, since Sony makes the console they make the software too and they make whatever they want with the software so that means that whenever you buy a game in a Sony console for example they get a cut of the profit the game makes, and it's not a small cut of the profit, it's a really good chunk, it's 30%, so let's say a game you buy is $60 Sony will make just under $20 for that game, and now think that for every game you ever buy on that console they do the same, that's a lot of money, there is where the things start to add up, and when we take a look at the PC, there is just nothing like this happening, because let's take any kind of a PC part, and let's see how and where they make their profit, and the answer is simple, they make profit when someone buys, now they cannot compare with a console because if they sold the hardware at a loss they don't make money from the software, and that from a business point of view is just stupid, they cannot continue to exist if they don't make profit from selling, and now add that up, because it's not just the cost of the parts they build, it's the staff, the management and everything in between, and okay Sony has that too, but Sony continues to make money from the day someone buys the console, to the day someone just breaks it I guess, and the hardware companies just aren't able to do that, if they don't sell they're losing money, it's as simple as that, and I am not saying that no one profits from the software and PC, because there are a lot of people who do profit from the software and I mean monetary value, but those people are not the owners of the companies. And that's not to say that the companies that make PC parts are not profitable or they don't make that much money, because they do make a lot of money, they just make money in different kind of ways. And by different I mean they pump up the price of parts to unbelievable amounts, and if you are someone who wants the best or at least something with that kind of performance you have to pay up, so they are not the nice guy, but it depends on how you see it, and there are a couple other reasons for the price difference that are not as interesting and they don't make that much of a difference in the price of the setup so I'm just not going to mention those things. This was just a really quick video that hopefully makes you somewhat aware of the situation, it's not important it's just really interesting how do high tech companies that make somewhat of the same hardware make money on such different ways, 
So this was Ray if you liked the video like if you didn't subscribe, if you don't want to miss the next video really make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you want to see any kind of tech related video make sure to comment down below and I might just cover it in a future video. My videos usually are a bit longer but I want to try new things here so thanks for watching and tell me if you liked it or find this video helpful, and I hope I see you in the next one bye.